I am going to give you a little walkthrough today of the new Storykeeper Lumi AI tools, which utilize the new AI features that are in Lightroom Classic, which are so helpful for editing. So I have created a whole selection of presets that use these AI tools. So when you're editing your image, you can apply your preset and then you can actually go through and make really quick adjustments to a whole lot of things in your image simply by applying these presets, which are the tools, but they'll live in the preset area alongside your other presets that you might have. So I'm just going to give you an overview today of how they work and what's included in the pack. So I've had a few different images sent in. So this one is from Savannah. So I'm going to show you today how this works. So I'm going to apply the Meadow preset to the raw file. That is the Meadow preset there. That looks pretty good. So what I would like to do with this image, I think that exposure's right on. So now I'm going to go through here. So there's a few different um, sections in here. So you'll see there's different background tools. So when you grab one of these, what it's doing is it's selecting the background and not affecting your subject. So if you come over here to the mask area and click on this, you can actually see what it is affecting. So all of the background tools here, you've got cooling down the background, darkening, lightening, softening the background and warming it up. So you can apply any of those to your image and it will not affect your subject. So that's really handy in all different lighting situations where you might want to um, retain the details and color in your subject, but actually change what you're seeing in the background. So those tools are really good. Next one here I've created is close enhance. So this will add a little bit of color and pop to the clothes that your subject is wearing. So adds a little bit, a little bit of saturation and color. So that is another handy one to use. So I'm going to turn that one back on. Okay, so there's a few others in here. We've got some that affect the features. So we've got eyebrows, eyes, hair, lips. So you can add all of these things individually to your image if you wanted to specifically work on one part of a person's face or hair or eyes. Um, or there's another tool here called the subject enhance tool, which actually has all of that in one. So you can click that on. I will show you a little demo of that now. And so you will see that that actually has all of those different features um, included in that one subject enhance brush. So there's a whole lot of different ones in here to use. The other ones that are really helpful are the skin softening brushes. So I use these on pretty much every single image. So there's a light, a medium and a strong. And these will apply different amounts of softening to your subject's skin. So I'm just going to turn off this so we don't overlay what we're doing now. Actually, I might delete. I will delete all of these masks so I can show you these. So <clears throat> we have the skin softening light. So when I hit apply, that is affecting just the subject skin so it's not applying the adjustments to any of their clothing or anything and if you have multiple subjects in the photo it will also apply that adjustment to them as well so there's a few different skin brushes here which are really helpful and the other skin tools that I've created are subject reduce red skin and reduce orange skin so if you do find that your subject skin is tending towards one of these orange or red levels you can select one of those and it will help even out the skin so they're really helpful as well um, the other one that i use on pretty much every single image is pop and brighten so this will select your whole subject and it adds a beautiful pop and brighten to the whole subject overall so there's a subtle version and a brighter version as well so i will often apply one of these and then actually sync it throughout my whole gallery because I love using these on pretty much every image. Okay, so if I was going to edit this image, I'm just going to show you what I would do. The preset is applied. I would like to apply the pop and brighten to my subject. I would also like to warm them up a little bit so I can choose subject warm up tool. And then the other thing is I might actually 
actually bring back the sky. This is this might not be how I would actually edit, but I'm just giving you a demo of how you can use the tools in your own way. So if I come over here, I've got two blue sky enhanced tools. So this one is a little bit more subtle and this one's a little bit more dramatic. So if I choose this one, that will apply it and you can always come up here and see which masks you've got applied. And if you would like to turn them off, you can click this little eye tool here to hide the mask and turn it off your image or you can actually delete it here as well. So whatever you'd like to do to see what it um, is affecting and you can click on the mask as well and then make the adjustments or change the adjustments yourself. So if you feel like that's a little bit too much and you wanted to bring the exposure up just a tad and maybe change it back to be a little bit warmer, you can do that. So you can actually amend all of the adjustments as well. So really, really handy to use and very quick and simple to apply to your image. There is a couple of others that I was going to show you. So this is an image, let me just reset that. So this is like a full sun, direct sun type image that's quite warm. So if I apply a preset, I'm going to use Meadow on this. I'm going to cool it down a little bit. Now I think I would like to cool down the background a little. So I'm going to grab background cool down tool and apply that. And I've got two different tools in here for direct sun. So Direct Sun Soften is going to soften the shadows um, and the contrast and the harsh light on your subject. If you feel like it's a little bit overpowering in, in an image, you can use this tool here. And there's another one that's a full sun assist tool, which will um, affect the whole image. So you can play around with each of those and see which works best. But this one here, I will often use in an image just to soften that full sun look just a little bit. So that is what I would do for that image. And I was just going to show you some of the facial tools that you've got in here as well. So this is an image from Amy, which is a beautiful image. Now I'm going to apply the Meadow preset on this one. So that's one click with the Meadow preset. Now I am going to, so the subject enhance um, brush or preset here, <laughs> the preset tool that you can select. So I'm going to turn that on for this one because we've got some really beautiful, um, a beautiful close up of her eyes and lips. And so that is applying all of these different tools in that one click. So we have some adjustments to her lips, teeth whitening, her over her eyes and her pupils and skin softening. And these tools I are very um, minimal and pared back. So they're never going to be insanely heavy in terms of the adjustments because I love adjust. I don't want to change what somebody looks like so dramatically that there's no texture in their skin or their eyes look fake. Um, so these tools have been created with that in mind. So I use these all the time and my hope would be that they are not in your face and they don't look overly edited. So they're um, yeah, a beautiful pack to use if you love natural and timeless edits that don't look too fake at all. So I've applied that to her and I might use my subject pop and brighten as well on this one. And I think that looks beautiful. So that's pretty much all I would do to that image. That is the before and that is the after with a few different clicks. So I hope that you found that helpful. If you have any questions at all, let me know and I would love to help out.